We inherited um, work that was designed a certain way. After World War II, America was becoming this superpower, and America and really much of the world afterwards, uh, women had gone to work during the war, now there was this effort to get them to stay home. And this whole idea of what work is, it's a place that men go to each day, right? While women stay home. Um, we've maintained these backward structures that say like, if you're working, you cannot also have responsibilities at home. We should no longer think of work as a place that you go, but instead as a thing that you achieve. Uh, everything that holds back women at work also holds back men at home. And so when you learn these secrets about what men are going through in America, you realize there's huge opportunity to work together. So by far the vast majority of today's fathers want more time at home to do caregiving. But men have been fired or demoted or lost job opportunities for taking paternity leave or for needing to uh, get a flexible schedule. Caregiving leave has to be gender neutral. And when you do that, when you make sure men and women can be caregivers, you uh, attract men and women employees, you retain men and women employees, you get them to want to be there. So when we change that culture of how we look at work and what work is, we open our minds to new possibilities. And part of that is a big step forward in creating gender balance in the workplace.